the part of my research, I ended up on TikTok. Uh, and no one ever wants to say that when they're doing research. But the, but the point with that was that there was a guy on um, TikTok who was basically, he's a bodybuilder and he had his own bodybuilding account. And I, I think he hadn't, you know, he wasn't particularly famous, but he was saying he was kind of beyond his peak. And now it was time for him to come clean about a couple of things. And one of them was about trend. And he said he had a, a gyno problem and these kind of things as a... As a I guess as a, a, a side effect of that and that it came with a lot of side effects and he felt that the, there was a lot of people on TikTok, Instagram, all these places just advocating for the use of this stuff, not really talking responsibly about it and he said it really concerned him because I mean yeah, I think many uh, each generation of bodybuilders are pushing the chemical envelope a little bit more, a little bit more a little bit more. It certainly looks that way on stage. Yeah and, and what you know, what <coughs> I'm told by people that compete or even don't compete 